Hey ladies, welcome to episode 120 of the podcast. I had to stop myself from laughing (laughs) before hitting record on this episode because I feel like I'm really tapping into my inner Olivia (laughs) Newton-John. Oh boy, let's go. Welcome to the Health, Life, and More for Women podcast. My name is Jennifer D'Amato, a certified intuitive eating counselor, coach, mom of four, lover of all things pink, and I want you to live your best health and your best life. I believe the way we can all do that is by finally walking away from diet culture, by relearning what your body needs, reconnecting with your body's biological signals, and redefining what health is on your terms. This show will shed some light on sneaky ways diet culture has infiltrated your thoughts, your family, and your well-being. My heart is that no matter the episode, you walk away feeling informed, inspired, and encouraged. Let's go. Now, as soon as I said that, I may have gotten a song stuck in your head as well. (laughs) It may have been 1982. There may be leg warmers involved. (laughs) But if you remember the song, Let's Get Physical, (laughs) you have that on a loop in your head. Now, (laughs) I'm not encouraging us to go do step aerobics or, or anything like that, but there's the part of the chorus that says, let me hear your body talk, your body talk. Let me hear your body talk. Now (laughs) she's not talking to herself, but we are going to do that today. (laughs) But I just have this stuck in my head and I thought, why not take you into the mind of your podcast host and intuitive eating counselor. This is, this is what it's like behind the scenes, folks. Songs constantly running through my head. I always wonder what could I do with this brain if I didn't have so many lyrics stored in there? That's for another podcast on another day. (laughs) Let's get back on topic. So even though it's happening throughout the day, every day, we might not hear what our body is saying, or we might hear what our body is saying to us and completely ignore it. Think about this in kind of a a general sense. Do you do this if you have muscle or joint pain? Do you kind of ignore it and move on with your day? Do you pay attention to it? Do you give attention to it? How about your energy level? Do you kind of notice it? Does your body tell you certain things? Do you ignore it? Keep pressing on, grab another cup of coffee. I mean, the truth is we can hear what our body's saying and then make a choice. Do we respond? Do we ignore? Do we move on? Do we try to (laughs) pretend it's not there? So something that I'm a really big fan of, something I like to practice and that I teach is body scanning. This is literally going head to toe and checking in with myself. It's a way for me to figure out, okay, what is my body saying right now? When I do this, I can better assess what I need. And over time in this type of practice, you build body trust. The reality is in the busyness of work and kids and schedules, you know, we can kind of I'll like tune out what our body's saying and, and go into this mode of getting things done. And I'm not saying that we need to not be doing that. I am a very productive person. I, I could sit hours. I mean, hours on hours at my desk, go from client call to client call, get into some other work, record a podcast, write up a Instagram post and do all that. And then time will just go by. And if I don't have this tool, this strategy, I really will lose touch with what's going on. I can end up not eating. I could end up with neck back pain. I can end up utterly exhausted. So I like to do this kind of check-in. Now I'll tell you it, it can look different for everyone, but what I teach is going from head to toe, starting at your head, which is your thoughts. And really just kind of checking in with what I'm thinking. Next, I move down to my heart. And that's where I check in with my emotional state. And then this is oftentimes where I can identify an emotion 
or just check in to see that I'm okay still, that I'm, I'm doing okay. And here's the next part. <laughs> this is the part where I know a lot of my clients are like, and I've been ignoring it. I go into my, my midsection, my digestive system and ask myself, how are you doing down there? <laughs> And there have been times, especially in the past, where it's like, I'm not okay. You've been ignoring me for four hours. I'm not okay. And once I give some attention to it, it might tell me I need something. I found over the years of practicing this with my clients that they're fine checking in with their thoughts. They're fine checking in with their heart. They're fine checking in with below the digestive system. You know, we kind of go into those, the legs, which is our, do I need to get up and stretch and move? You know, how's my, my body feeling? We kind of look at an overall, how's the body feeling? But when we pause at the digestive system, when we pause at what's going on with hunger, fullness, food, they're like, I don't want to go here. Or they're like, I don't notice anything. You know, dieting has taught you to hit the mute button, so they just want to skip right over it. They actually start believing their body doesn't talk to them there. They believe that unless their body's screaming, it's not speaking. And and that might be true when it comes to that joint pain, like I said before, when muscles hurt, when your energy levels completely tank and you're so used to everything on default mode of, I ignore until it's really bad. And when we do this in in an overall sense of our body, we end up not well. And specifically when we do this from years of dieting in our hunger and our fullness levels and our satisfaction, I love that word when it comes to food, even in our pleasure, when we stop checking in and listening to what our body is saying, we actually feel completely disconnected with ourselves, And it's why I talk to women who are like, I don't even know anymore. I don't know what to eat. I don't know what to do. I don't know, you know, how much, when, what, nothing, nothing makes sense anymore. Until we start listening to a body that's already talking. What's amazing is it's not off. What's amazing is you, you might even believe, well, we've turned it completely off, but in fact, it's really a mute button. I'm not sure how often we use this. I always picture my pink little radio. I mean, talk about going back to 1982, my pink little radio, and you could have a slide button. It turned it off. You know, if I needed to turn the radio off, but there was a mute button and I just had it playing in the background. I couldn't hear it. It wasn't, you know, disrupting anything, you know, playing the music when someone was talking to me, but I could turn it right back on. Once we start tapping into what our body's saying, you might be really surprised to be like, oh my gosh, it talks to me all the time. You might find that aggressive at first. You might find that overwhelming at first. You might find that like, oh my gosh, it won't stop talking to me. And I know this can invoke another feeling because when we turn back on, when we unmute that hunger, it might feel like hunger becomes overwhelming. It might feel like I'm hungry all the time, but really this is your body's way of adjusting, of reigniting those signals of reminding you I'm here. I'm here, like you have a body that works and talks to you. So how do we unmute? How do we re-tap into listening to our body? Well, I have two things I want to share with you. The first is what I just kind of went through, which is a body scan. You know, you might need to set a reminder on your phone. You might need to just put a sticky note up on your desk and say, you know, hey, a few times a day, let's check in. Head thoughts, heart feelings, midsection, hunger, fullness, digestion, legs and beyond. How's my body feeling? Do I need to get up and move? When's the last time I, you know, stretch stood up. You might be surprised how this little strategy can be a game changer in your day. Now, the second one is something I've been sharing here on the podcast. The last couple of episodes is I created this food and feelings journal. This is like an unmute button. This is a turn the volume up button. If you're, you're like, well, it's unmuted, but I'm still not hearing it really well. This is like, oh, you want to crank that sucker up. This can help in that. 
This could be your body scan. When I'm checking in, you might like putting a number on your hunger and fullness. Or when you're doing a body scan, oh, this is my favorite, is noting like, does this area feel pleasant or does it feel unpleasant? Those words might feel good. And it could be neutral. It's always an option. Like I'm not noticing either, but I love using that. You might even put these all together to just note in that other column what the scan showed up for you. Maybe each time you're noting on there, you use that just to kind of check in with yourself. I believe our bodies are talking. I believe our bodies are talking to us all day long. If we've been used to ignoring it or we always put it off, if we don't even trust it, it's going to be really hard to listen. So let's invite some practices into our day, quick, easy strategies that can help us hear our body, (laughs) hear what it has to say and build that trust. So do that body scan, grab the food and feelings journal. You can hop into the show notes. You can head to healthcoachforlife.com slash food journal. Both of these practices, I believe are going to help you unmute the body talk and turn that volume up. Ooh, I love it. Speaking of that, I think it's about time I go do a body scan. I just love this practice. If you love it as well, I'd love you just to hop on Instagram. Come find me at Jennifer underscore health coach for life. Send me a DM and let me know how this spoke to you. All right, ladies, until next week.